one of the most important things is that the issue is very clear cut. I find witnessing ME in children one of the most convincing arguments for this being a physical process because you can see a happy, healthy child in a nice family struck down out of the blue. That's what makes it seem like a physical illness and helps us to uh, argue against the psychiatric view of this condition which has done so much harm for so long. The other thing is that the, uh, the number of other conditions that can mimic ME in children is very small and the, the differential diagnosis is really quite easy. So it's not as difficult as it is in adults to be sure that the child has got ME. In general, children with ME can be divided into groups according to severity and the mild groups have their activity levels reduced to between 70 and 90 percent of normal, the moderate have from 40 to 70 percent of normal and the severe have from sort of 10 percent to 40 percent of normal and then the very severe, which is a very unfortunate group of uh, patients, is the very severe bedridden for long periods of time and that is someone who's below 10% of normal activity levels. The, the general principles of management of ME should be the same for all, that you don't make them worse and you support them and protect them and try symptomatic treatment uh, and you don't let them do too much. But um, some people believe in the efficacy of treatments like graded exercise and cognitive behavioural therapy. Now, these, the evidence for these has only been done in people who are mild to moderate and are ambulant. They're able to walk to clinics and be helped. There's no evidence that those management techniques should be applied to the severe group. When you're handling a case of paediatric ME, there are a lot of things you should be aware of. There's the, uh, for instance, there's the influence of the extended family. Uh, it is very, very important that patients with ME are believed in and feel validated by all their nearest and dearest. And quite often there is a member of the family, sometimes a little bit distant, a uh, separated former husband, uh, an aunt living many miles away often a semi-professional person who has strong views and these people can undermine the family's belief in the child's ME and can be very disruptive and I think it can be important for the paediatrician to detect these problems and maybe address them by offering to speak to members of the extended family who aren't believing. When a paediatrician first sees a new case of ME, he should do a battery of routine tests which would exclude all uh, common or rare conditions that might be mimicking the condition. Um, in addition, if they're following the child up for several years, they should consider repeating that battery of tests after two or three years because children can still develop other conditions on top of their ME. And follow-up, of course, is important to make sure that you haven't got the diagnosis wrong. But clinical assessment is probably more important than a large number of tests in this condition. Heeft u een vraag naar aanleiding van deze video? Reageer op YouTube of tweet naar het MECVS Vereniging of mail naar wvp.me-cvsvereniging.nl. De beste vragen worden in een volgende video behandeld.